Hello Pisces, this is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts with your 5-Minute Mini 5 Cast. I'll be pulling from the Golden Dahlia deck by Maria of La Belle Adama 13, my Heavenly Hearts Oracle, as well as my Tabby Tarot Teacher deck here. General advice as always, guys. So let's go ahead and grab some insight here for you. For Pisces, angels and spirit guides, please. What do we need to know at this time for Pisces? We have the need for patience coming through. And then we have cautious. All right, so there's something that's not happening for a reason. There's a delay that's needed here. And then we have foolish coming through. So I have a feeling here, Pisces, if you were to act impulsively to be able to escalate something into happening, or maybe you're rushing something into happening, it might actually end up backfiring. That's just what I'm getting here for some of you guys. I wanted to grab some dialogue representing the masculine and the feminine, however. So let's start with the Divine Masculine. What are the words that the masculine from their higher selves, what do they want to say to you, Divine Feminine? So if it's not happening right now, that doesn't mean it can't happen later, but something needs more time. My world would fall apart without you here, and I have a feeling that might be a reality for some of you guys. Let's grab a card on behalf of the Divine Feminine now. Divine Feminine from your higher self. We've got two cards from the Feminine. Okay, I'll take them. I love it when you call me just because. All right, so maybe... Maybe you're hoping for some form of communication from your masculine divine feminine, but it's it's not the right time. Let's make babies tonight. All right, so some of you guys could already have children, of course, but there's this desire to establish a family with your masculine. All right, let's grab some insight from Tarot here. I'm also getting, for some of you, Maybe you guys are just not on the same page as far as when to start a family. You know, maybe the masculine is wanting to wait, but maybe Divine Feminine, you're feeling really impatient. You know, you want those babies now. You want to get the family started. So you guys might be on different pages here. That could be why there is no communication between you and your masculine. Maybe you guys had an argument about that. So we do have the Knight of Swords coming in here very action-oriented masculine here. They tend to do things very impulsively. All right, so, but at the same time, the Knight of Swords can sometimes be non-committal. And I do get that for some of you. That could have resulted in a separation here. It's like they feel like their world is falling apart without you, but at the same time, they weren't ready to commit. And then we've got the Ten of Swords representing a painful breakup here. Somebody walked away, okay? So it is Cups Energy. Pisces, you represent water. Whoops, sorry, I just tapped my table. You could have walked away from this person because they weren't ready for commitment. Whether you walked away from a masculine or a feminine, however way that makes sense for you, somebody was feeling really impatient here you know we do have the nine of cups which is a card of satisfaction emotional stability wish fulfillment realizing your dreams but if someone was trying to rush those things into happening and you weren't ready that created some challenges here you guys were butting heads three of pentacles is all about teamwork but that wasn't happening that wasn't happening. And I'm feeling that very heavily here, which makes sense why we now have the Four of Cups, because there was a disconnectedness between you and this person, and it really resulted in either a breakup, you walked away from them. It's now coming through as a missed opportunity to come together. 
that is how it's coming forward someone is allowing their fears to really get in the way especially at night because the nine of swords is insomnia nightmares feeling hopeless but especially at night when they have a lot of time on their hands to really think about things and we have the empress so the empress can represent a maternal energy right so <laughs> let's make babies tonight so that's what's coming through here if this is your story divine feminine with your masculine and if you guys had a falling out because one person wanted to start a family the other one didn't that's why it's coming through here but unfortunately it is presenting itself to be a missed opportunity at this point however we do have a, a king of cups here who will be more than happy to fill that void so even though there could be a missed opportunity with someone else there's another masculine energy that's presenting itself here divine feminine somebody who really could come in to be a father figure who could be a perfect spouse for you so it's still coming together it may not be with the person that you want to be with but it's still coming together for you as as far as how your romantic life comes together all right well i totally went over five minutes <laughs> but that's okay if you resonate with these messages guys hopefully there's something here that is really speaking to you if you want your own reading that info is down below see you next time